Hello, everybody. Welcome to a very special edition of Richard Osman's House of Games. Richard Osman's Ho Ho House of Games this week. It's nearly Christmas, isn't it? It's so nearly Christmas. So we've got a whole week, four players coming along, playing for a very special trophy. You know our normal trophy, which is a bit of silver tat. OK, this week it could not be more different. Take a look at this. What you're seeing is a bit of silver tat with some plastic berries and holly attached to it. <laughs> oh, that is worth winning, isn't it? Merry Christmas, one and all. Shall we meet our festive players? They are Jessica Nappix. Hello. Richie Anderson. Debbie McGee. Hello. And Simon Gregson. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi. Jessica, do you love playing games at Christmas? I love playing games all year round, but Christmas is really a time for gaming, isn't it? It is a time for gaming. Do you have a member of your family who cheats at games? Yes, um, my father. <laughs> um, but What's he won't hit Peter. Pete, come on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> he just he just doesn't like to lose, so he'll he's a he's a rule bender. <laughs> Pete, there's nothing worse at Christmas than a rule bender, and you know that. He knows that, right? He knows that, and I'm I... glad I've outed him <laughs> on on national television. Richie, hello. Um, you love a bit of Christmas. I do. It's my favourite time of the year. Oh. I love to get dressed up at Christmas, so I can't wait. It's going to be great, isn't it? Yeah, I Santa, love it. Santa, Santa, so near. Debbie, yeah. Debbie, you scream Christmas. I do. I love. I everything about Christmas is me. I have um, automatons of Father Christmas's oh. workshop around the house. No, you don't. Father Christmas's ski slope around the Christmas tree. Are you oh. kidding? Yeah. Oh, look at, absolutely. Look at, look at this rubbish we've got here now. I know. Honestly, when I came in here, I thought these were beautiful. <laughs> but now I'm thinking, why is there not a Father Christmas skiing down them? Simon, how lovely to have you here. Merry pre-Christmas. Um, how are you as a quizzer? How are you feeling against these three? Uh, not very confident, I have to say. I mean, obviously, you know, a bit of a fan of the show, and um, I just don't think I'm going to get anything right. <laughs> May as well be honest from the outtake. Oh, hey? God, absolutely right. <laughs> this is going to be a good week, isn't it? That's exactly what we want. But a Christmas spirit. Now, you've seen the trophy, oh. and I know you're in awe, but there are also Christmas prizes. And anyone who wins today takes home one of these. We will wrap it up for you. Oh. <laughs> We've well, got the House Against Bauble set. Nutcracker, Christmas pyjamas, tote bag and a Christmas <laughs> toolbox. Simon, if you were to win, what do you fancy? Toolbox, Toolbo definitely. Debbie? I would like the absolutely beautiful Nutcracker. Very Christmassy. So Christmassy. <laughs> uh, Richie, what would you go for? I'm going to go for all that tote bag on the big shop. Imagine. <laughs> yeah, tote bag. <laughs> oh, my goodness, you'd be the talk of the town, wouldn't you? <laughs> Uh, Jessica, what would you go for? It's definitely going to be the baubles for me. Baubles. Um, lovely to have you all here. We'll be here all the way up to Christmas. Shall we play our first round on this yeah. week's festive House of Games? It is... <laughs> rhyme time. Rhyme time. Fingers on Christmas buzzers, please. I will give you two questions at a time. The answers rhyme with each other. Here we go. Basic unit of currency in the USA and Canada... Someone buzzing in before the second oh, question, sorry. Debbie McGee. I'm wow. so eager. Ho, ho, ho. We were, King we, were, Debbie. we were just talking about people who cheat at Christmas, <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> and actually, do you know what? My money would not have been on you. I am going to, because you're Debbie McGee, I'm going to let you have a go at it. And the other question was clerical and canine neckwear. Dollar, dog collar. Stealing the point there, Debbie McGee. Well done. Thank you, Richard. Next two questions. <laughs> like this. Comedian who began hosting the UK version of The Masked Singer in 2020 and Santa's reindeer with a celestial name. Yes, Richie. Joel Domit. Comet? Joel Domit, oh, Comet. Oh, well very done. good. It is. Well done. Joel Domit and Comet. Nicely played. Next ones. Who is this? And what is this? Oh, yes, yeah. Richie. The brilliant Ken Bruce and orange juice. Ken Bruce yeah. and orange juice? It is Ken Bruce and orange juice. Next to you. Hot drink known as Glühwein in German. And comedy series at an NYPD precinct with characters including Rosa Diaz and Jake Peralta. Mm. Yes, Jessica. Mold wine, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Exactly well, right. Well, well done. Yeah. Next two. 
an extra game played in tennis when the score on a set is six all. And what is this? Yes, Richie. Tie break, snowflake. Oh. Tie break, snowflake. It is tie break and snowflake. Final question. TV sci fi series starring Millie Bobby Brown as 11. And gift given on the fifth day in the song The Twelve Days of Christmas. Yes, Jessica. Stranger Things, five gold rings. Absolutely yeah. right. Oh, Final point of the round goes to Jessica. Let's take a look at our first Christmas leaderboard of the week, shall we? Simon has not played before. The other three, you've all been here before. So, Simon, we're allowing this uh, a slowish start yet to get off the mark. Debbie, you've got one. Jessica, you've got two. Our early leader, Richie Anderson, with three points. Mm -hmm. Well done, Richie. Shall we get on and play our first pairs game of the week? Yeah. Do it, shall we? It's going to be... Distinctly average. Uh, Simon, you're currently fourth, so you get to choose your partner Ooh, in this okay. round. Who's the class of the field here, do you think? Who would you like to pair I'm, I'm, up with? I'm going to go for Debbie. Yeah, Aww. of course you are. Yeah. Simon and Debbie are a team. Richie and Jessica are a team. If you take your tablets out, please, everybody. I'm going to ask you some questions. Write me down a number as your answer, and I will take the average of each pair oh. as your answer. Right. OK? OK. Um, your first question is this. In total, UK consumers use how many miles of wrapping oh, paper gosh. each wow. year? <gasps> Whoa. Oh. oh, my goodness. Who's good at wrapping? Anyone? Oh, I'm terrible. Oh, I'm not too bad, actually. Are it's you really? Fair. Oh, that's not good. Too, don't give me... You're going to give me something to wrap now, aren't you? No, <laughs> it's not that sort of show. Don't panic. Uh, I'm brilliant at it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally amazing. I did these. Oh, wow. So that neat. That's not, that's not a good sound, <laughs> is it? If you feel your presents before Christmas, go, what can this be? Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> Very nice, nice wrap box, there. Though. Yeah, beautiful. Everyone is in. Jessica, what number have you written down? I think I've gone too low, but I've gone 100,000. 100,000. Doesn't sound crazy, does it? Richie, what are you thinking? See, I've gone at the other end of the scale. Uh-oh. Yes, because... Lower or higher? Much higher. Really? Yes, because like, I'm thinking your Christmases, your birthdays, I'm forever buying wrapping paper, mate. <laughs> so I've gone for three million miles. Three million <laughs> miles. Your average is one mm. million five hundred and fifty thousand miles, say Jessica and Richie. It's a lot of miles. Yeah, it's... miles quite long, isn't it? Yeah, it's about oh, 250,000 yeah. miles oh, to the moon. Was... So that would be to the oh, moon I'm and back really six times, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> but to be fair, quite, I didn't think it's about quite a lot, isn't the it? obvious thing, yeah. isn't it? But who knows? Days Debbie, what are you saying? Things. Well, I know I've gone over the top, but okay. I was thinking of... Even more than Richie? Much more than okay. Richie, because wow. I was thinking... <laughs> yeah. If there's about 61 million people, people in the country, most people get at least three presents a year. Yeah. So I've gone for three trillion. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a lot. I wasn't quite thinking of miles, I was thinking of yards. Because it's... Mm. Then that would mean... I'm a bit blonde, I'm sorry. <laughs> three Everyone's trillion. Everyone's using... Sorry, Simon. The number underneath is three billion, if you'd like to... I'll go to three billion, then. Yes. Oh I'm going to accept God. three billion. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> your, I didn't know how answer. to spell billion, that's why I put uh, trillion. And Simon, <laughs> I, I'm assuming you've gone down from that. Yeah, my, I, I, my, I put 8,000. 8,000, you got down a bit. <laughs> Thank heavens for that. <laughs> that might be the biggest difference we've ever had. Yeah, but it <laughs> might work out. Uh, so your average uh, <laughs> is <laughs> 1.5 billion. So we've got one and a half million and we've got one and a half billion miles, God, yeah. miles, mind you, miles. of wrapping paper. What have you got at home? How many miles do we use and who scored the point? We use 227,000 <laughs> miles. Jessica and Richie, you get the point. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but that is essentially ne nearly from the Earth to the Moon of wrapping paper that we use each year. Uh, another one? Um, give me an answer for this, please. Oh. In 2021, how many baby girls born in England and Wales were given the name Holly? Oh. Do not write three trillion, <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> okay. I'll, think, I'll think a bit more yeah, about yeah. this then. <laughs> Holly. How many hollies are there out there, I wonder? 
Mm. It's a nice name, Holly, isn't it? Yeah, it's a yeah. lovely name. I think it's one of those names that stood the test of time. It does not go out of fashion, yeah. Everyone is in. Debbie, what are you thinking on this one? 500. That sounds reasonable. Um, Simon, up or down from that? I put originally 796. Yes. But then went for 4,000. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Obviously. Yeah. So your average is 2,250 hollies. Um, Jessica, what are you thinking? I think I've gone too high now. Yeah, that's possible. <laughs> 25,000. <000. laughs> that's a, that's a, essentially a forest of holly. It is. Richie, up or down? Down. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, down, yeah. Um, I've gone for 2,000. I think it's one of those names, again, that's been around for a bit, but still in vogue. Yeah. Beautiful name. Good name. Let's take a look at your average. It is 13,500. 2,000? 13,000, what do you think at home on this one? Have you got a Holly at home? Let's take a look. How many baby girls born in England and Wales were given the name Holly? Who scored the point? Oh, 568, oh, Debbie McGee. Suddenly someone's in the game. Yeah. Very well done. Just Debbie saying, the guys. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Very I mean, close, good. Debbie. it's yeah. going to take a lot to redeem yourself, but that's a good start. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Final question in this round. One all so far. How many new podcasts oh, were launched wow. in 2022? I feel like we could That's go for world... a Debbie answer here and would be quite... That is worldwide. Worldwide. Oh, worldwide. Worldwide, according to Listen Notes. How Will many it... podcasts? Mm. There's a lot of them about. Everyone is in. What do you think at home on this one? Podcasts. Uh, Richie, we'll start with you. I've gone for 50,000 worldwide. 50,000. Uh, Jessica, what are you saying? I've gone a bit lower. 10,000. 10,000, says Jessica. Your average, even I can work it out, is 30,000 new podcasts. Uh, Simon, where are you on this? <laughs> oh, God. I think, I think Debbie's rubbing off on me. Uh-oh. Uh I've put 378 after scribbling out 112. I, I, listen, yeah, 112 or it's 112 or it's 378. It's one of them. So you've got 300. One of the two. Numbers just come in and I'm like, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Debbie, up or down? I think I've got the magic number this time. Oh, great. That's good news. Because I know during the pandemic, so it was something like 900,000 podcasts. Whoa. So that was that year. Wow. So well, I've gone for... Oh, my God. A million. <laughs> A McGee five. number, you know, I like big 1. numbers. 1.5 million, million, don't you just? Again, yeah. you two, listen, <laughs> there, are, there are similarities between the two of you, I'll say that. It's good teamwork. But it, it's yeah, good. the average... The well, we'll find out, we'll find out if it's good teamwork. Uh, so your average is 750,000. So we've got 30,000, we've got 750,000, <laughs> three quarters good. of a million. Who's going to score the final point in the round, I wonder? How many new podcasts were launched in 2022? 235,000. Oh, oh Close. Jessica yeah. and Richie, you get yourself a point. Very well done. Very yeah, nicely done. Nice. That's, That's the end of that round. Uh, tablets away, let's take a look at the leaderboard, shall we? Simon off the mark with one. Debbie, you've got two. Jessica, four. Richie Anderson stood out in the lead oh. with five. Nicely done, Richie. Three rounds to go, though, on Monday's House of Games. Your next round is... Broken karaoke. We have not played this for a very long time. It must be Christmas. We have a karaoke machine. It is broken. So it only shows you the first letter of a series of songs, OK? So fingers on buzzers. We're going to show you some Christmas songs, some festive songs, and you have to work out what the songs are just by the initials of the words uh, in the lyrics of that song. So which festive song is this, please? Ooh, Jessica's in early. Make my wish come true. All I want for Christmas is you. Let's take a look. Whoa. Ah, well done. That's amazing. So early. Well done. That was quick. All I want for Christmas is you, Mariah Carey. Right. Very well played, Jessica. Very early buzz. Next one. Got this at home. And that's the title at the bottom. Nobody. 
Shall I play it for you? It's beginning to look oh, like Christmas. Oh, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I was really trying to oh. listen to the rhythm as well. Oh, yeah. That's the Perry Como version of It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Next festive song. Huh. H-A-H-H. -H -H. EDM. R A T C T is the initials of the. What's that? Richie. Rocking around the Christmas tree. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Is it rocking around the Christmas yeah. tree? Rocking around the Christmas tree. Well played, Richie. Have a happy holiday. That was the H A H H. Final question in this round. Final festive song. But what festive song is it, please? That. The periodic table. FN, yeah. <laughs> Richie. Feliz Navidad. Oh, oh yeah. get out of hey, town. Good. Is it Feliz Navidad? Let's have a little listen. Feliz Navidad. Oh, gracias. <laughs> Actually, vale, vale, vale. <laughs> Feliz Navidad. I love Felice Never Dead. Uh, Jose Feliciano, very well played. Richie was good at that, wasn't he? Let's take a look at our next leaderboard, shall we? It's going to be good news for Richie. Simon stood on one, Debbie stood on two. Jessica, you got five. And Richie Anderson, two point lead now, seven points. How about that? One How... more than I thought I'd get. There we go, <laughs> perfect. Our fourth round today on this festive House of Games is. Where is Santa? It's a loose retread of our round, Where is Kazakhstan? Oh, oh brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you could uh, take your tablets out, please. I'm going to show you a map. It's the whole world, the mm -hmm. whole world, and we have to find where Santa is, OK? Mm -hmm. The first place I want you to find is the city where the Christmas cracker was invented. That's where Santa is. What do you think at home on this one? Everyone is in. Jessica, the first yeah. Christmas cracker, any clues? It doesn't seem to be a tradition in other countries as far as oh, I'm... really? Having spent Christmas in America, yeah. for instance... Yeah. <laughs> I've spent Christmas okay. in Spain. They don't have crackers. Really? So I've, I just went plain old narcissistic British. But why not? Because we, we know we definitely have them. So where's Santa? There he is. Uh, Richie, what were you thinking? Again, I've got absolutely no clue. So I have just gone for Scandinavia on the fact that they won Eurovision this year. Oh, mm. that's clever. So... Yeah, because the two things <laughs> often, <laughs> don't they? See where you are? Yeah, you sort of... When you've got the whole world, you essentially got the whole of Scandinavia you've covered there. Um, Debbie, did you have any thoughts on this? Well, I knew that they didn't have them in America. I thought UK, and I think you're probably right, but I just went mid-European. You're absolutely kind of Germany. Yeah. Obviously, a lot of Christmas things are German, mm. aren't they? Simon, any thoughts? Um, I had a similar thought to Debbie, and because of, like, what you've just said about Germany and, and, yeah. and Christmas, uh, I've gone Germany as well. You've gone Germany. Uh, so, we have Germany, we've got Scandinavia, we've got the UK. What do you think at home on this one? Let's find out, shall we? Where was the Christmas cracker invented and who scored the first point of the round? Oh, well done. Point yeah. to Jessica. Oh, well done. Very well done. So, invented in London, the Christmas cracker. Uh, invented by a London confectioner, Tom Smith. Jessica gets the first point. Our next thing we want to find is this. Where is Santa now? According to tradition, the birthplace of St Nicholas. <sighs> The birthplace of St Nicholas. That's where he gets his nickname, Santa Claus, from St Nicholas.
Everybody is in. Um, what do you think on this one, Richie? I kind of feel like he's from Greenland. OK. I don't know, though. Yeah. But I don't know where Greenland is either. Oh, so that's, a, that's I've an just issue. gone for that little rock in the middle of the sea. I'll see where you are. <laughs> Iceland. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, OK. Yeah. Debbie, what were you thinking? Well, I kind of got stuck in this path to mid-European because okay. of the Niklaus. Yes, I, I got you. I think it's Austria or Germany, something yeah. like that. So, so yeah. it's in the same place? Yeah, just sort of south of Germany there. Mm. Yeah, middle of Europe. Simon, any thoughts here? I had the same thinking of Debbie again. Let's see where Simon is. Yeah, kind of Polandish there, very close to Debbie. And Jessica, where's Santa? Yeah, I toyed with the idea of Sweden and then I was thinking exactly that, Nikolau Nikolaus. Felt Christmassy, so I went Germany. So three people very close to each other there uh, and Richie off on his own in Iceland, <laughs> having, a little, having a little adventure <laughs> there. Uh, let's find out what do you think at home. Where was St Nicholas born, according to tradition, and who scored a point? Ooh. Oh, hello. Turkey is where he was born. <laughs> Closest. Simon Gregson. Oh. Ah. Well done. you take that, wouldn't you? Yeah, exactly. Well done. Um, let's do one final one, shall we? Santa's been in the UK and been in Turkey, but where is he now? He is at the location of the Nakatomi Plaza in the 1988 film Die Hard. Finally, a proper Christmas question. Where was the Nakatomi Plaza in Die Hard? I'm not going to open the debate as to whether Die Hard was a Christmas film, because it is a Christmas film, of course, it's set at Christmas. But where's the Nakatomi Plaza? What do you reckon at home on this one? You have a little point to the screen where you think the, uh, the Nakatomi Plaza is? Everyone's in. Die Hard fans in the audience, what are you thinking on this one? Debbie, what were your thoughts? I've just gone East Coast. I was thinking New York or Washington, okay. but I wasn't quite sure on the map exactly on this map where they are. I so. hear. Yeah, New York area. Yeah. Absolutely. Simon, diehard fan? Yeah. Mm. And like an idiot, I went to Japan. But I, th I, think, right. I, th I think it's, I think, uh, Debbie's right. I think it's Philadelphia. It's not, yeah, I think uh, you're in Indonesia there, by the way, but. Uh, <laughs> that's close. Yeah, listen. Near come on. Japan. It's, it's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas, isn't it? Um, Jess, diehard fan? Well, I've mm. seen it, but I'm not familiar with all of the locations. I've got you. I hear you. <laughs> I also definitely intentionally went Indonesia and didn't mean Did to you? go okay. to Japan. <laughs> see who you are. Yeah, absolutely. Wow, Indonesia's getting... Indonesia, Indonesia. I thought, that's where it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting more love than I thought it would do on this question. On our yeah. maps, that's where it is. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, Richie, are you in Indonesia? I went for Japan, where I hope it's Japan. <laughs> but we'll soon see. You are in Japan. Oh, yeah! yeah. Take that far north. Listen, I don't want to give anything away, but it's America, right? It's Obviously, just, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. So and it's like, is it place? Philly or somewhere like that? I yeah, so it guess who's closest? <laughs> you know, I wonder. Uh, let's take a look. It is LA, uh, is, is the answer. LA? Well, I just, yeah. because of the way the world spins round, I'm just going to double check that Richie oh. is not um, closest. Uh, yeah. I think the, the Pacific is big enough, they're telling me. Debbie, you get yourself the points. Oh, very thank well done. You. I think that uh, would have been robbery. But it was LA. Very well done. If you knew that at home, very well done if you went for it. Uh, tablets away, please. One final round on Monday's House of Games. A festive special week. Look at how festive it looks. And the leaderboard looks like this. Simon with two, Debbie with three, Jessica with six, Richie with seven. It's very Ooh. close, going into our final round. Here we go. Should we do it? Yeah. First time this week, let's play festive Answer Smash. Fingers on buzzers, please. Don't forget, it's the only time in the show where you can lose a point. If you buzz and give me an incorrect answer, I will take a point away. But other than that, point for each correct answer. Your first category in this Christmas week is Christmas items. In 2011, Stacey Solomon had a UK Top 40 hit with a cover of which festive Chris Rea song? Simon? Driving home for Christmas cards. Driving home for Christmas cards? Is correct. Well done. Point to Simon, well played. Next question, next picture. The institution known as the NYSE, where shares are bought and sold, is the New York what? Yes, Jessica. 
The New York Stock Exchange. Stock Exchange. Oh, oh, very oh, good. Correct. Well done. Stock Exchange <laughs> and Angel. Good. Stock Exchange. Uh, next one. What is the name of the fictional sailor who recounts his seven voyages in a story from the Thousand and One Nights? Simon. Sin Bad Vent Calendar. Is correct. Very well done. Sin Bad and Advent Calendar. Sin Bad Vent Calendar. Next category. Costume dramas. What is the home ground of Chelsea FC? That is Richie. Stamford Bridgerton. Oh, Stamford yeah. Bridgerton. Quick. It is Stamford Bridge and Bridgerton. <laughs> Next one. Which children's literary character played by Eddie Murphy in a 1998 film has the ability to converse with animals? Yes, Debbie. Um, Doctor Doolittle Women. Absolutely right, Doctor Doolittle Little Women, Doctor Doolittle Women. Next costume drama. The Naked Chef is the title of the debut book and TV series by which celebrity cook? Yes, that is Jess. Jamie Oliver Twist. Jamie Oliver Twist. <laughs> Correct, well done, Jamie Oliver Oliver Twist. Any more Christmas categories? <laughs> we're done for the day. That's Monday done. Oh, wow. wow. So, we're going to give away our first festive prize of the week. Who has won Monday's festive House of Games? It is going to a tie break oh, between oh, Jessica yeah. and Richie. A tie break. A drama. That means one more answer smash. Just the two of you involved. Fingers on buzzers. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you're today's champion. You win a festive prize. Give me an incorrect answer, Richie. I need an eggnog. <laughs> <laughs> Said no one ever. <laughs> If you buzz in and give me an incorrect answer, your opponent will be oh, yeah. today's oh, cool. champion. The category for your tie break is birds. Very best of luck. Who's going to win Monday's festive House of Games? It all comes down to this. Formerly known as Constantinople, what is the largest city in Turkey? Jessica. Istanbul Finch. Is it Istanbul Finch? Our Monday winner, oh, Jessica oh. Nappett. Well played, Jessica. <laughs> On a tie break. Well On a tie wow. break. Well played, Jessica. You've won yourself a prize, a festive prize. Yes. Which of these all. would you like to take home and wrap up for uh, for Pete Nappett? A hundred percent the baubles, please. Jessica Nappett wins the House Against Baubles. Well played, Jessica. Nicely done. Our weekly leaderboard looks a little bit like this. Jessica at the top but very, very close, and we have four days to go as well. Shall we do the same thing, uh, same time tomorrow? Yes. Yeah. Lovely, enjoying our Christmas together, enjoying having you here for Christmas as well on the House of Games. Weight to those. Oh, actually. Isn't it? Yeah, that's great. You, you don't. You don't want to actually. You've got to be careful where you place those on a tree. Yeah, because the, cats, don't will, want the cats will have them. The cats will have you them. Can the kids them will have them. You can make them into earrings. You can make them into earrings. Yeah, you could. <laughs>